Hello, I'm Stephen Carr. I'm a researcher at the University of South Wales and I research into various aspects of the hydrogen economy, energy storage and renewable energy. So here we have um, a, a demonstration kit of a renewable hydrogen energy storage system where um, we have our um, hydrogen being produced by solar power with a lamp representing the sun. That, that lamp um, shines on a PV panel which produces electricity. That electricity runs through an electrolyzer which splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. We store the hydrogen and oxygen so that at times when we can't produce power from the sun, so at night time when it's cloudy, we can then use that hydrogen and oxygen, run those through a fuel cell to produce electrical power. This lamp represents the sun because it's a cloudy day at the moment. So we're using this to shine on our photovoltaic panel, which converts that, the photons from the lamp into electrical energy or electrical power. The, that electrical power then powers our electrolyzer here, which um, the electrons are used to drive an electrochemical process, splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. So at, at one side of the electrolyzer, the water is split into hydrogen and the other side it produces oxygen and then we can store that hydrogen and oxygen um, until we want to use it at a later time. So we're, as the overall process, converting the energy from the lamp to split water into hydrogen and oxygen and store that hydrogen and oxygen to later on reconvert that to electricity. So you can see the bubbles forming of the water, H2O, being split into H2 and O2 and the bubbles forming on either side of the electrolyzer and being collected and stored. So now say uh, we have a situation where the sun isn't shining and it's not producing enough power for our needs. It might be night time or it might have got cloudy. Now we, we want to produce power on demand, so we need a way to do that. And we've stored, the, we've stored our hydrogen and we've stored our oxygen. So what we can do is run it back through a fuel cell, which is the reverse process of an electrolyzer. In the fuel cell, we combine hydrogen and oxygen together. It makes water as a byproduct, pure water, which you could drink and produces electricity as well, electrical power. So here we have our fuel cell, which is taking our stored hydrogen and our stored oxygen, putting our oxygen at one electrode and our hydrogen at another. They're then combining in electrochemical processes, H2O and O2 producing water, H2O, and producing electricity. And that electricity here is being used to power this fan. We could use it to power lighting you can just about just about see that <laughs> some light there um, or anything else we wanted to do so anything we had any appliance we had in our home we could power that through, a, through our fuel cell using our stored energy which we've stored in the form of hydrogen this is our main electrolyzer at the Baglin hydrogen center so just like the smaller version we saw in the demonstration kit before this is a larger version whereas in that demonstration kit we had one cell splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. This has a stack of cells, maybe 80 cells, much bigger cells, pushed together, producing a lot more hydrogen. So we, this electrolyzer takes in about 50 kilowatts of power and it produces roughly a kilogram of hydrogen per hour. So this here is where the electrolysis takes place. This is the electrolysis stack. So we feed in pure deionized water and then DC electric power and that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. Everything else in this unit is gas cleanup. So when we produce the hydrogen, before we store it, we want to make sure it's completely dry. So we dewater it. We want to make sure it's completely pure. So we take any oxygen, we get rid of that as well. So we have a, we have a the oxygen unit and a drying unit as well. Once we've produced the hydrogen, we need to store it. So we, we put it through a compressor and we compress it to 200 bars or about 200 times atmospheric pressure. And then we store it outside uh, long term until we need to use it again. This is an alkaline type technology. So the demonstration kit we saw was a PEM proton exchange membrane where um, that, that membrane allowed H plus ions to pass through, protons to pass through to complete an electric circuit. This is an alkaline type electrolyzer where we have a potassium hydroxide electrolyte within it and that allows OH- ions to transfer between the anode and the cathode to complete the electric circuit and keep on driving the reaction. The fuel cell generates um, electrical power, so anything that you can use electrical power for, you can use a fuel cell to supply that. So in a vehicle, a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, you store hydrogen on board, 
You run that through your fuel cell when you need to drive the car to provide electrical power for forward motion. As well as electrical power, it produces heat as a byproduct. So in people's homes, you might use the fuel cell to produce power for that home and use that byproduct heat to heat your hot water, to heat your to power your heating system, and then you have a more efficient overall use of the energy because you're using that hydrogen to provide power and heat together. Thank you.